Hi, I want to talk to you a little bit, real quick, uh, about my girlfriend's new graphics card. Uh, I just got her an NVIDIA GeForce GT730. I got the 2 gigabyte with the DDR3 DVI VGA HDMI PC graphics card. Um, it's not a very serious graphics card there. Uh, this is what we paid for it. Now the reason I got this is because she had a GeForce 620 um, and it went out. It I, I don't know what happened to it. it. It just went out one day. She's had problems out of the graphics card for a little while. So it finally just went out. So she was back on her Intel Extreme Graphics on her computer. Now, I did get the new graphics card, and her computer is hooked up, and I want to talk to you a little bit about gaming. Unfortunately, I'm using my little handheld um, camera here. She has a controller. Now, this is not going to be a very serious system. This is her basic Dell Optiplex 760, small form factor. So she couldn't get the best card because she does have a small form factor. It does not have a whole lot of power in it. I mean, it really doesn't. Um, it's a Core 2 Duo E8400 with 3 gigahertz of RAM, well, 3 gigahertz processor speed. Um, 64-bit Windows 7 and she has Windows 7 Home uh, Service Pack 1 so it's not a huge powerful system um, like she only has 4 gigs of RAM on here now she does own some PlayStation 2 games unfortunately her PlayStation 2 kind of messed up and so Basically, she has to play them on her computer. Now, this computer is high-end enough to play some PlayStation 2 games, but low-end enough, even with the graphics card, to not play others. Like uh, Dead or Alive Hardcore, you are not going to get that to work right on a system like this. But, like Sudokan 3, uh, Sudokan 4, things like that, yes, they will play. Uh, in fact, I'm going to start this. And what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to show you how to use a cheat disk on this. Now, running this is going to slow it down a little bit. Um, once you have this set up, you go to CD ISO selector if you're using an ISO. Um... I already have a uh, code breaker and things like that on here. So you can use cheat disks on this. It's not exactly easy to do if you don't know what you're doing. I mean you can really just uh, pull your hair out. All right, I am not going to save the cheats. I'm going to go to select sheets. This is code breaker 10. Uh, for US. Um, I'm not exactly sure what games she actually has. So I'm just going to go down to Sudokan 3 and 4. Now this is not going to run super great because this has a Core 2 Duo, okay? Um, yes, you can play some PlayStation 2 games on here. But not every game will run in full speed. Um, the graphics card isn't the best, but it will. I'm, I'm going to try Sudogan 4. I don't know anything about this. Um,
yeah, I really don't know much about this game. So, uh, I'm just going to try to figure this out because, like I said, I, I really don't know um, how to even play these games. I'm not um, really into the whole RPG stuff. It's This is just for horror. Now, when this comes up, if you're using Code Breaker, and this will work with other, uh, like Action Replay, Game Shark, hit ESC, go to CD, DVD, ISO selector, browse, uh, and you go wherever you're going. Um, I think that was Sudigan 4. <laughs> okay. You, then you hit swap disk. And then instead of going up here and hit reboot or full, you hit resume. And then you hit your X button. And that will load up and run your cheats off of a disk. Um, like I said, I, I really don't know much about these games. Um but since I just replaced her graphics card I want to talk about that it's one of the cheapest graphics cards pretty much you can buy which is the GT 730 let's see if I can skip that um, That will be overwrote. Um, let's hit start. Like I said, I, I'm not sure about this game. Um, I'm not sure how to set up the codes on this. She really does. But I wanted you to see her new graphics card. Unfortunately, I am using my little handheld. Now remember, this is your basic Dell Optiplex 760 small form factor. If you're going to get one of these systems for uh, gaming or try to play games, I suggest a regular size Optiplex and not the small form factor because the graphics cards for the small form factor, um, you basically have to take them like apart and then, you know, put it in. As you can see, it has really good quality. Um, I wish you could see the better quality. Unfortunately, Yeah, and I pause that. I don't know if you can skip any of this. Um, probably not. But anyway, um, this is her new graphics card. I did say that she needed a graphics card. We got her one. The, it seems I have a really good picture. And now, a lot of games, there will be some slowdown, especially high end, like fighting games. Um, Dead or Alive 2, like I said, is really one of those games, um, Dead or Alive, I believe it's hardcore, that's, yeah, I really don't know anything about this game. I guess I have to pick people somehow, you know, um... And like I said, I, I really have no clue what I'm doing with this. Um, so, you'll, you'll have to forgive me on this. I have no idea absolutely what I'm doing. Oh, I guess I have to go next. Yeah, formation done. You know what? Uh, they're gone. Because I really have no idea what I'm doing on this. Um, like I said, I, I really...
really have no clue. Maybe I should have tried three because I actually... Uh, I have no clue what I'm doing. Oh, there we go, move. So, anyway, here's her new graphics card. And they're going to shoot on me, and I have no clue. Like I said, I really don't have any idea how to play this game. Uh, this is definitely her game. Yeah, they sunk. Oh, well. Anyway, um, as you can tell, I really have no idea. And, of course, I lost. Wow, I don't know if you're supposed to lose on that or not. Huh. Like I said, I, I don't know what I'm doing on this game. This is definitely not my game. Actually, no, come on. Wow, uh, apparently the code did work because that dude's at 999. Um... Unfortunately, I didn't put any weapon codes in. Um, yeah, like you can tell, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, I, uh, I have no idea what I am doing. I guess I'm, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, so. But anyway, you can tell uh, that dude's hot all the way up, and this, this jerk isn't going to let me do anything, because, like I said, I have no clue about this game. Why not? <laughs> and like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, that's how you get the codes to work. That's her new graphics card. You don't have to have a super powerful PC to um, run uh, PlayStation 2. Uh, this is PC Access 2. Um, and you don't have to really have to have a really expensive graphics card or a really expensive system to run like PS2 stuff. And I, I understand PS2 is obsolete, but it has a really good picture. Um, and like I said, this is only a Core 2 Duo with 4 gigabytes of RAM. And it has the 730 GTX 730 graphics card. That we paid like 35 40 bucks for and it was brand new so i wanted to show that to you and, and let you know you do not have to spend a lot of money to get a somewhat decent not perfect but somewhat decent computer you can play games on all right that's it everyone have a good day bye